our year 11 photographers. Um, I hope you're all okay. And I am looking forward to getting back into school and starting to work with you again so we can really, really develop our portfolios and get the best out of your work. Um, now, you, as you know, in year 10, we were working on an expressive portraits project and I had set some tasks for you to do um, throughout the lockdown based around um, that project to just try and stretch it a little bit more. Now, coming into year 11, um, we've got, we're going to do a project up to December and I've called it unfocused semi-abstraction. So we're going to look at things in a slightly different way. Now, I will be looking for you to demonstrate your knowledge of composition, um, including different compositional devices. I will be looking for the quality, the visual quality of your work to be a little bit higher going into year 11. I think you've got the skills and understanding, um, the practical skills to be able to create much higher quality work now. Um, we will have a look at aperture and shutter speed. Um, so that you can use those things to create unfocused um, pieces of work. Now, I say unfocused. There are photographers that purposefully blur their photographs. Um, and you can do that um, on different apps on your phone. We can do that in Photoshop with some of the filters. So it would be a really good idea for you to have a practice at home, taking your own photographs and having a go at purposefully blurring them out or taking different sections of them and turning them into something else like a jigsaw puzzle or little shards that you um, sort of layer over each other or you could even have a go at doing some double exposure which in an app like Snapseed is really really easy. Now I haven't specifically said for year 11 whether you um, are going to do a portraits project or whether you're going to do a still life project. I've kept it under that umbrella theme of unfocused semi-abstraction. So it gives you some freedom in terms of what you take photographs of. So you could go outside in the beautiful sunshine and take some gorgeous photographs of nature, of leaves. You could stand underneath some trees and look up to the sky. Um, you could take photographs of people um, and sort of continue your portraits project. Um, you could take photographs of water and drop things into water. You could take photographs of different brand um, tins of food. It could be Heinz baked beans. It could be uh, Heinz tomato sauce. So I'm giving you some freedom because I trust that you can make those creative decisions um, coming into year 11. So I want you to have a real big think about what you'd like to explore um, within your project and I want you to start taking photographs now and practicing using different apps that are free that I've suggested on your knowledge organizer here. I've also um, suggested some tasks um, over here, uh, taking some close-up shots, some macro shots. I have suggested doing some portraits as well, so 10 shots of the whole face, 10 shots of the whole person. Um, but using different compositional devices as well. Now, I'd like you also to research, start researching a photographer from the knowledge organiser um, that relates to those ideas um, that I just talked about. Um, and over here, we've got this word abstract. So I'm going to be talking about that word abstract throughout your course. Now, it's often used um, to refer to a painting or a drawing. Um, but we can absolutely re relate it to photography, abstract photography. Um, it will mean that the viewer will look at your photographs and they will not necessarily quite be able to tell um, what's happening in the photograph and it will make them really look at the work. There's some literacy elements here. I've got some questions that I'd like you to answer on the um, knowledge organizer as well. And at the back, I've also included your image analysis guide sheet to help you write about the work of someone else. Now, as you know, it's really important in photography lessons and outside of photography lessons to be independent. You know that the work you produce is worth 60% of your final grade. Everything you do in photography 
goes towards that grade. So I need you to come back in September with the attitude of I'm going to be an independent learner. I'm going to work really hard in lessons and I'm going to work really hard outside of lessons as well. And to support you every week, as always, we do an after school catch up session so that you can access equipment. You can come and get some ideas or you can just come and work for a half an hour or an hour independently presenting your work in your black photography books. We've got till December as it stands at the moment um, to make sure that we get all of our coursework finished um, and then we would be starting our exam units if everything is as normal um, in January. So I do want you to really work hard in and out of lessons and come back with a really positive um, attitude to your work. I'm really looking forward to seeing you.